My beauty slayers, good morning. I'm sitting in front of the place waiting to go into orientation. It's 7.40. So that's how my day gonna go. I'm gonna be here from 8 to 10. And then after that, I'm gonna go um, take my grandmother to Dollar General. And then I'm gonna go pick up my wife later. So, I mean, that's basically how my morning gonna go so far. I don't know what's in store for me for this afternoon. Probably nothing. I'm just going to go in the house and I'm going to vlog a little more, I guess. But I know today I am going to record some fashion videos for you guys. And I'm going to try to put that up today as well. So I'm going to edit this video, get some homework done, and edit the fashion video. And put that this vlog up today. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. I made it to the 5th day. Wait. I didn't even think I was going to make it to the 5th day. Because I'm like, oh God, I'm ready to give up. Because there's so much editing. And you can't really say too much. You can't really curse. And I'm a cursor. And I don't want to get demonetized. I'm going to be like, okay. Video blocked. They taking me off of YouTube. To all my viewers, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give me a thumbs up on this video. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. I will link that down below. So, we're going to talk about this vlog and, and people unsubscribing from my channel. Uh -huh. I know I talked about it yesterday in my other vlog, but it's still some things that I need to get on my chest. My channel, because I'm vlogging. Let me rephrase that. Do I feel a way because people is unsubscribing from my channel because of me vlogging? Yes, I do. Because I'm trying to grow my channel. However, I have to do what's best for me. And each... Um, in each fashion video, I always ask you guys at the end of the video or the beginning of the video, guys, tell me what other videos would y'all like to see would y'all like to see different video fashion videos would y'all like for me to do a lot of lookbooks would y'all like for me to do um three outfits from my closet like whatever i mean i got that stuff coming up anyway but i'm just saying like give me some fashion ideas be honest it's, me and my white place is pretty small i already got a lot of freaking clothes so i can't keep Excuse me. I can't keep shopping and piling clothes on top of clothes on top of clothes. Now, I'm quite sure in my vlog that you saw yesterday, that rack in the kitchen behind me. Well, it's not even in the kitchen. It's partially, like, in the dining area, but it's sort of in the kitchen. So, I know y'all saw that rack behind me that's basically in the dining area kitchen. And I can't keep shopping. I can't keep doing that until we move. We plan on moving sometime next year in the summertime. Which, I'm going to be vlogging that too. But, yeah, I can't keep buying clothes. Because every time I power on clothes, I got to find a, some, a place. Every time I keep buying clothes, it powers up. And I have to find places to put those clothes. However, I do not mind using what I have. So, if you feel as though because my channel is about to be a vlog channel and a fashion channel and you do not want to be a supporter no more, that's fine. Am I going to feel away? Yes, because I'm trying to grow my channel. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. My goal is by January. I'm just wishful thinking. Hopefully... I'll get there, but my goal by January is to get a thousand subscribers, thousand watch hours. I'm sorry, so that is my goal here. So whatever it's whatever it takes for me to do to grow my channel, that's what I'm gonna do. I appreciate you guys' views. I appreciate you guys watching my content. I even appreciate you guys' feedback on some of my fashion videos. I appreciate all that, but in the same token. I have to do what's best for me. And if you guys feel as though that you don't want to support me, that is fine and dandy. At the end of the day, I feel like whoever don't support me wasn't a supporter anyway. From the rip. 
granted, yes, when I first came out, my channel was based on fashion. But I don't want my channel to be only based on fashion. Why can't my channel be fashion and vlogs? Y'all gonna see my everyday life, but am I gonna put my business and stuff out on YouTube? No, I'm not. That's one thing I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna degrade myself or degrade my wife by putting my personal business out on YouTube. Y'all gonna see the vlogs where we're having fun and chilling and relax. Is that fake? No. Because our relationships go through good and they go through bad. But I'd rather y'all guys see the good than the bad. Because I don't have time for nobody judging me. It's already judgmental people on YouTube anyway. Trolls. In the comments. Like, I keep it a hundred. Like, me and my wife, we have our ups and downs. Yes, we do. But she support me. But anyway, that's not about that. We're not going to get into that. So, let me know what other vlogs, content, because now, yes, after these 31st, yes, I am going to continue to vlog. So, let me know what other content you guys would like to see. We have the gingerbread contest coming up in the next vlog. Um, <coughs> I'm not quite sure if I'm going to make my wig in this vlog or if I'm just going to do a whole separate video how to make a wig. Because this is something that, like, I learned off of YouTube. So, now I'm applying it for myself. However, I'm not a hairstylist. I just know how to do hair somewhat. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. That's how I feel about this whole situation. Like, if you are a true supporter, I will see. If you're not, then go to the door. It's somewhere over there. Somewhere over there, baby. A subscribe button is the same as the subscribe. A subscribe button is the same as the subscribe button. Hello, there you go. But um, my whole thing is this: like, do I feel a way, like I said, from them that they unsubscribe from my channel? Yes, because mm -hmm. I'm trying to grow my channel, and I'm quite sure anybody who's a YouTuber, when they have somebody who unsubscribed from their channel. I'm quite sure they feel a way. Yeah, especially when they like newer YouTubers. Yeah, they really feel a way. Even but, when they get up to like millions of subscribers, when they see like their channel is going down, they be like, what's going on? Yeah. So that's why I say, you, we, as the people, I ask y'all guys all the time, what other content besides fashion do you guys want to see? Even if it's just fashion, I could do just fashion and I could do vlogs some days. And I already said that, like, I appreciate them subscribing to my channel because they didn't have to. But to my real supporters, I appreciate that they stuck by my side no matter what. Like, and then sometimes I guess is that some people so used to me seeing being glammed up all the time, which I wouldn't even call it glammed up. I'll call it like regular old snuggler degla. Like I, I just look nice. I don't have on no makeup. I don't have on no eyebrows, nothing. So I guess people so used to seeing that. And then when it go from me not having no wig on, no <laughs> freaking big old hoops, my um eyebrows all I mean not my eyebrows. My lash yeah, my lashes all fluffed up. And, well, sometimes I do my eyebrows, but I guess people are so used to seeing that. And then when I go from that to regular, they be like, oh, no. Mm-mm. That sounds mm -mm. like some Cardi B type stuff to me. She said she never had a problem with showing you the real me. Crib right. when it's messed up. Well, hair when it's messed up. Crib when it's filthy. But... Some people not everybody can take the real un unfiltered truth. Yeah, they can't. Not everybody is dolled up 24-7. <sighs> Hello? Like, I still gotta live my life. I gotta be comfortable. What you think behind the camera that I'm all dolled up 24-7? <laughs> seven days a week? Heck no. Like, no. Not I'm, only that, but like, let's be real here. Like, what, the, what other subscribers are always on Glam? Like, you can't be expected for somebody to be something that you're not. Exactly. 
Like, I'm not the type of person who sit home all day with my freaking cup of tea with my pinky up my and my, um... Yes, darling. And my attitude. I'm like, pour my cup of tea, please. <laughs> like, no, I'm not that type of person. I'm mad. I'm mad laid back. I'm mad chill. When I get in front of the camera, I'm myself nervous. And I don't understand why this is the first... I mean, I don't understand why when I vlog, I'm not nervous. It's just easier for me to pop out the camera and talk to y'all. Whether than when I'm doing my fashion, I get tongue-tied just like that. That's no true. lie. I get tongue-tied real quick. And I, I like mean, That's because this is like in real life. So it's like, it's nothing that you have to remember to say. There's no details you have to remember to put in. Well, that's true. And it's nothing that I have to filter, so, besides mm -hmm. the cursor. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but as soon as I get in front of the camera, I can have it all packed down. Like, hey, my beauty slayers. Hey, my guys and girls. Welcome to my channel. Blah, 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 blah. But then, as soon as I get in front of that camera, it's like, uh, 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 wait. What, 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 what was I supposed called? to say? Exactly. <laughs> like, what am, I, what am I supposed to say? What the freak? Oh, my God. I forgot. I forgot. But enough of rambling. Me and my sister about to go inside. So we go do orientation. And I'll catch up with you guys in about two hours when guys, I come back out. Back. Came from Dollar General <sighs> with my grandmother. The orientation went well. I got the job. Um, I don't know when I start, but I got to go tomorrow to do my, to do a piss test mm. and a background check. And then once I do the background check and the piss test, oh, and the PPD, then after everything is clear, she said if everything is good by Friday, then, well, if everything is go good by Friday, then I get to start work Sunday. But if it don't, then I have to wait until Monday to start work. So, I'm be work on Sunday. that's really good. Yeah, I'll be working on Sunday. So... I'm happy about that, and the pay is more, so that's a blessing, but I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit, because I'm about to drop, and drop my grandma off. Literally, I am the passenger. So, <coughs> I'm sitting in the car, we just, we about to leave Domino's and go home. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I'm sitting in the car and my wife went inside Pizza Hut for me and we're about to get ready to go home. This is so cold out here. We're like, oh my god, I'm freezing. So we got pizza tonight and some breadsticks. See? Bye, Don bye Pizza Hut. <laughs> I was about to say bye Domino's. I'm gonna say piece of her, yeah. So we're about to go home and I'm about to get cozy because I am so tired. Like, don't judge me because I got a blanket on. Like, this is my blanket that I keep in the car on those cold days. Y'all girls know what I'm talking about who got a car. Either you got a blanket, three things. I'm gonna tell you three things a woman keep in her car that. I don't, I'm not speaking for every woman, but I know for my, oh, 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 oh my God. That was just tragic. Those bumps is tragic. So I'm gonna tell you three things a woman keep in her car. A blanket, some shoes, and some clothes. Three things. I don't have clothes in my car, or no shoes. What about Bobby? But, Oh, and bobby pins. Bobby oh, and makeup and some lip gloss. Oh, and some fresheners, too, as well. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Those white wipes for those days when you like a little wet wet and you got like white white. You feel me? <laughs> I don't have no white wipes. I'm a wet wet. <laughs> <laughs> she aggy. And change the pocketbook. Yeah. You got your whole closet in the back. And probably a pocketbook. Like, Powder. 
speeding I'm ahead. sitting in the back seat. Hey, 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 no cursing. You won't get me demonetized. Shit, you better cross it out. <laughs> cross it out. This ain't no paper. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. My wife is acting. Through it. <laughs> she gonna, I said, hey, hey, no cursing because you're going to get me demonetized. She's going to throw myself. You better cross it out. <laughs> what am I crossing out? I'm going to cross it out with you guys once we get in the house. Two dudes. Well, this was a productive day. I said got me a present. <laughs> I'm really stoked for what she got me. <laughs> Look at what she got me, guys. Look at what she was forever. Just so I could, like, take pictures with my family and stuff. And, like, hang them on the wall. So freaking cute. We're unboxing on camera. I don't believe that. To let you guys see, see how really cute this camera is. So this is how it looks outside the box. It came with one glitter frame, ten instant mini sheets, the camera, a photo album right here, and two mini clipboards. So let's see how it is pretty cool. So it's like focus, lens, range, and then it also have these buttons up here. You're taking it in the home, outside in the rain, on a sunny day, and this just says high key. And let me see the back. So this is where the flash will come from here. And I guess you will put a battery here, I guess. I'm not quite sure because I haven't finished opening it. So I believe that. <coughs> For a photo album game, which is really cute. I like the strap. And she put pictures in here. It came with two batteries, instructions on how to take the pictures, just the instant sticker, another instructions right here. Booms. Well, the instant sheets go here, so where you can take the picture at. So, the instant mini film in the back. So, I'm still trying to figure out. So, guys, this is how the picture came out. <laughs> it is so freaking adorable. And it's clear. So cute. Look at my wife. Oh, Remember this. Remember this day. Remember this pic. And this hour. Sorry. <laughs> but, oh, hey, hey. What? That my PTSD it kicks in my ass, right? Cause you know why? No, listen. My supervisor, right? They were telling him the story about the girl, the lady, uh -huh. and he said, and, and the other supervisor was like, yeah, cause you know PTSD could act up. He said, yeah, cause she might beat it down to the white meat. <laughs> He's like, y'all didn't hear me say that. PTSD is not a funny thing to play with. However, my wife makes it funny. Because she was in the military and she's a veteran. So. However, it be so freaking funny because she got into a, a co-worker at work. And she told the co-worker, my PTSD gonna make me kick your ass. I was Oh, she said. She said. She said to the lady, "My PTSD gonna kick your ass." Yo, I was dying. I could not stop freaking laughing. I'm like, why would you tell? <coughs> I'm like, why would you freaking tell that lady that? Why? It will. PTSD is crazy. It don't be me. <clears throat> it be her. Also, yes. So I have a haul coming soon for you guys. 
all that stuff over there on the rack. And then those, that's at the bottom. Stay tuned for that haul. I'm about to get ready in this vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give me a thumbs up on this video.